Hi guys, how you doing? Uh, so the fragrance I'm reviewing today is one that I had high hopes for for a while. I held off on buying it. It's actually a cheapie, um, but I think I just sort of uh, caught my attention early on and then I um, didn't come around to picking it up until recently and it's Lalique White. Uh, and there are a couple reasons why I was drawn to this fragrance. Uh, one is that the perfumer is Christine Nagel, um, who is great. Uh, she, of course, has done the uh, the new Hermes H24. She's done a bunch of fragrances for Jo Malone. Um, and I'm trying to remember. I mean, she's done other Hermes fragrances, and she, uh, you know, I from what I've seen, she's done great work. Um, and so it's always nice to see uh, a renowned kind of perfumer doing a cheapy fragrance. And I mean, this wasn't designed to be cheap. Uh, it still sells on Lalique's website at um, really high prices for the 4.2 ounce. I think it goes for, you know, between like $130, $150. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> you can find the, this for about $30, $40 this size, uh, maybe even cheaper. But I think it's a great price. The other reason that I was drawn to this fragrance is the comparison that it gets to Parfum de Mali Galloway. And I'll tell you, uh, you know, first of all, that it, the, I see where that's coming from, but it's not even close in terms of the scent quality, in terms of the longevity, uh, the, you know, just Galloway is miles ahead of this scent and, and it can't be a replacement in my opinion. Um, I, I saw pretty much all the reviews for this fragrance and nobody really said anything bad about it. Um, Max Forte, uh, in his sort of, he placed this in, in one of his lists and said, uh, you know, uh, that he would opt for this fragrance over Galloway or at least recommend that because uh, of how much cheaper it is um, and how close it is to Galloway. I think he said 80, 90 percent. Personally, I don't think so. I don't think that it's even close. Um, <clears throat> So if you are somebody who likes Galloway, you know, I wouldn't get this as a replacement. Uh, if you're someone who doesn't like Galloway, this might be worth a try. And I saw um, uh, AC's review, Smells Good, and he's somebody that I really enjoy watching and, and I really enjoy his taste. Uh, and he said a lot of good things about this fragrance. Um, you know, uh, I think he talked really positively about this. And again, nobody's really said anything bad about it. And so I thought, you know, this would be a very, very safe blind buy. And, you know, I was disappointed. And that's because <clears throat> the scent is not bad, uh, but the scent is also not amazing. And the performance really, really sucks, okay? Uh, and, you know, I'm not all about um, performance uh, when the scent is really good, but in some cases, it just, the fragrance falls so flat uh, and it's so hard to smell. Um, I mean, you can smell it, but what I mean is there's so little projection and presence that uh, it's really not worth whatever money, you know, that, that I spend. So personally, you know, it's not staying in my collection. It's, it's uh, I don't think it's even worth, you know, $30, $40 for me because of the performance issue. And, um, <clears throat> you know, we'll talk about, we'll come back to that after the scent. Um, so <clears throat> when you look at uh, the note breakdown, uh, you see a bunch of notes and it looks like, it looks very interesting, right? It looks like one that is basically fail proof. Um, so you have, you know, uh, le lemon leaf, I believe. Um, so some citrus uh, and then in the heart, pepper and spices like nutmeg. There is this really interesting top note of tamarind um, and then uh, elemi as well, elemi resin. Uh, and in the base, you know, oak moss and amber and, and musk, I believe. Uh, and uh, there's also cedar in here. So <clears throat> it looks like a really complex, interesting blend. But really, to me, it's a, uh, the reason it was a disappointment, not, not only because of the performance, but uh, it smells really simplistic. It doesn't smell very rich and uh, all that natural to me. So let's give it a spray and, and talk more about it. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, when you first spray it, obviously you could, it's very easy to pick up, but I, what I get a lot of is there's a strong alcohol presence. And from that, um, I could tell when I first wore this that this wasn't going to last. Um, there wasn't that sort of, you know, when you get, uh, 
high oil concentration or really good ingredients they tend to kind of stick right away right it looks oily and it and you can tell that it's going to be a rich scent but this one the, a lot of alcohol along with that um mostly uh the white pepper note and the pepper is not a bad scent i actually really like pepper as, as a note um it's it gives you it's used in fragrances like homage honor really you know an expensive scent um also galloway and so i see the comparison to galloway because uh, uh you know there's this combination of citrus right with pepper a really strong pepper element uh, and then some amber in the base um, but uh, Galloway the you get so much more there is a iris note um, there's a really kind of full iris and orange blossom in the heart and, and um, it's much more aromatic and strong it's masculine and and, and the amber there is uh, a lot stronger here it's to me it's barely present I, I even the LME resin you know, I guess it's adding, uh, it's completing the scent, it's adding something, but um, really the main player, the main thing I get is the pepper note, uh, along with just a generic kind of pleasant citrus. And also, uh, initially, um, this is, applies a little bit more to the opening stages. Uh, later on, you know, not so much, but there's a, I get like an embroxin, a synthetic, you know, uh, embroxin type of scent you know it's not listed as an official official note but basically uh the base notes consist of you know amber and, and musk uh and in this case you know i mentioned the scent overall that feels kind of synthetic to me and and simple and i get this uh you know that lingering ambroxan smell uh in this case very very faint um and I, it's really not that great uh i mean it's obviously not a uh disgusting or a bad kind of scent but it's it's it just kind of gives you the the feel of that ambroxan and not so much else again the pepper continues to be present i think the nutmeg in here gives a little bit of body okay so um there's a that little bit of um other spicy knit element maybe also a little bit of sweetness that's um uh, combination of the alami the nutmeg so there's a little bit of depth but overall it's a very very flat feeling scent um lacking depth for me uh it's kind of like how you know uh, it's kind of like when you drink uh, uh a flat soda right that the experience at least uh you know you, you drink a soda because of that that really refreshing blast that it gives you a really kind of pleasant experience right um and when you drink a flat soda, you lose all of that, um, you know, the essence, right, the, uh, of what makes a soda good. And that's sort of, you know, how this feels to me. It could have been so much better. Uh, now, if they came out with an Eau de Parfum version, I think I would give it another try. Um, but for this, uh, the comparison to Galloway, you know, not only does the performance, you know, not even come close, but the scent itself is not that complex it's not that rich i think the reason that i get a little bit of this kind of ambroxan you know uh feel is uh the note you get a lot of this pepper like i said but also uh there is that that lemon leaf right and um a little bit it's a little bit like combining some citrus with pedigree um that sharpness right uh and, and it's the sharpness that that you might find in the note of ambroxan as well so there is <clears throat> this very light, sharp, tart kind of quality. And I guess you might like that. Um, and I think people say it's the, the sour quality might be coming from tamarind. Um, it's not bad again, but it's not amazing, right? Um, and perhaps also the cedar is worth mentioning. Um, I don't get so much cedar. I think it's sort of... Uh, plays in the background. Um, but there are so many more other scents where you know cedar is a really important note in this case um, it's not a cedar scent um, i think it's this is all about the pepper so you have to like uh, fragrances that emphasize that note uh, and it doesn't feel like there's this kind of rich or natural cedar um, uh, christo one of those old school reviewers you know he i think was the first person who said it smells like pencil shavings and 
you know, I think that's actually a really good description. Um, and he's somebody also who, who really, you know, said a lot of great things about this and, and liked it, right? Um, but also said it's not for everyone. And this pencil shaving smell is basically the, the very light, uh, barely present cedar note. Um, cedar often gives me that sort of shaven wood smell, I always say. Uh, um, but in this case, the reason I guess it could be referred to as sort of a pencil shaving smell is so light. Um, the whole fragrance. I, I do have to say, and this was my experience when I first wore this as well, you know, as it dries down, it, it evolves a little bit so that it's a little bit more balanced, right? And, and I can actually smell it a little bit more, a little bit better, but it's still not all that strong. Um, but this, yes, yeah, this uh, pencil shaving, you no, know, it's basically, you know, the kind of a fluffy, right? Slightly fluffy smell that's very neutral, um, a bit boring, right? So, you know, uh, the smell of pencil shaving is very light, right? So that's, that's sort of the feel I get with this. Um, I think it could have improved a lot, uh, if, you know, by doing a couple things, right? Um, you know, the amber, uh, if this added a really rich amber, uh, kind of like, you know, sort of what, what Nishane might do in Ambra Calabria, that uh, combining the green and citrus notes with amber, that's sort of what they should have, you know, they should have added a lot more amber to give it the sweetness. Um, there, there is more, this goes, because there's the pepper and then there's a sour element, it's a little bit too much in that direction, not so balanced by kind of stronger woody notes or stronger sweetness, uh, which I would have wanted to see. Yeah, and maybe the pepper could be, you know, toned down a little bit. Um, uh, overall, it's just uh, lacking, uh, a bit of base for me, right? That's, so that's really the easiest way to put it. Uh, <clears throat> there are a lot of notes here that sort of, you know, are uh, flying around in the top uh, really lightly, but there's, it's lacking a, a lot of base. Um, <clears throat> so that's where this fragrance lacks. Now, you know, it's, it's not a, a high risk, right? Purchase 30, $40, so you could give it a try, but if you have a chance to sample it, I would sample it first, right? Um, because these thirty to forty dollar purchases add up, so um, I, you know, can't recommend this fragrance really for you guys. It's not a bad scent, but uh, it's not one for me. So uh, there you go, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about this scent if you've experienced it, and I'll see you in the next review. Bye.